Okay, so this next one is about an exit signal or an exit criteria using the parabolic star here. Really, this is a Blackbird question here, but kind of the way I see it written, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an exit signal using the parabolic SAR, you know, that we can then use in Blackbird or Raven, you know, as an exit condition, right? Because the, the question is, um, you know, more directly, the question is, you know, how do you ignore, you know, the, or the question is really about using indicators as your exit, I guess. So the bigger problem is, you know, let's say you're setting your stop loss, you have a stop loss that's going to follow or trail the parabolic SAR, right? But you want to get into a trade where the parabolic SAR is on the wrong side of the market. And let's me prepare here. Let me get the parabolic SAR on my chart first. Okay, so there's the parabolic SAR. Um, yeah, I'll just use all the default settings. All right. Let me get rid of the signals on the chart first. There we go. All right, so we have the parabolic SAR on our chart now. And so, you know, let's say you want to get into, you know, a short trade somewhere around here, all right? But of course the parabolic SAR is on the wrong side of the market to set your stop loss there. So that really is kind of what the question's about. and. There are some videos out there on setting up Blackbird in a way to work with indicators, you know, uh, to work with stop loss trailing indicators, you know, you know, such as the parabolic SAR or the super trend or the chandelier. Uh, and I think there's the ATR stop indicator as well or something like that. So there is a, a, a video out there that addresses that. So, but, kind of the way you know this question is phrased here and I just I did just kind of summarize the question here is that it, it really sounds like you know what what's wanted is an exit signal not how do you set up a trailing stop loss um, so so we're gonna actually generate an exit signal here for this because that, that's what we can do in today's bloodhound workshop you know if this question was about setting up a trailing stop loss, that would have to be done tomorrow in the Blackbird workshop. But exit signals are done in the Bloodhound workshop. So, all right, uh, so let's create an exit signal. So obviously, if uh, you know, if you're in a a long trade here. Right, you would want an exit signal right there when the parabolic bar when the parabolic star switches, or if you're in a short trade, right, you would want a short trade exit right there when the parabolic star switches. So let's set that up. All right, so we're gonna make ourselves a parabolic SAR exit signal there. So, um, so simple enough, right? The parabolic SAR crosses price, right? Price and the parabolic SAR are constantly crossing each other, right? And we're only interested in that crossover bar to generate the exit signal. So we're gonna grab a crossover solver to do this. All right, so we're looking for the close of the bar to cross over the parabolic SAR. All right, so input A, the first imp, uh, input is gonna be the bar prices. So we're gonna switch over to price. And then input B will be our parabolic SAR indicator. And there we go, there's our parabolic SAR, right? It only has one plot. So, and I'm just using the default settings here. 
all look good. All right, and there's our crossover signals, and we didn't even have to modify them. So when you're in a long trade, you want a short signal to exit a long trade, right? So again, this is not a reversal signal. This is an exit signal, right? So to get out of a long trade, you want a short signal, right? And then if you're in a short trade here, then you want a long signal for your exit. So the exit signal should be a long to get out of a short trade. Right? And there we have it. So with an exit signal, you know, you can set your stop loss wherever you want it to be. Um, and then, you know, um, yeah, you can set your stop loss um, and not trail it. And then the exit signal would actually exit you out of the trade. All right. So that is question number two here.